Uh, right. All right. Now we always. <laughs> now the ice is broke. Icebreaker. Bad squatch on there. Three mics. Check one, two. One, two, check. Check, check. Bad squatch, check. Two. Bat Squatch. Can't really read it because the cans are shiny. Bat Squatch, yeah. What's up, the Buds? Season 4, Episode 2. We're trying a Halloween beer that they had left over. We were going to try it last week, so we're a little late. We're here with Robert James and Silent Theory again. Oh, he's not drinking. <laughs> Good thing uh, we dropped a beer, so. Right. <laughs> and by the looks of this and where it was sitting in the case, he said, I'm not sure I'm going to like this one. Was it Hazy Indian Pale Ale? 6.7%. And yeah, smells. It was seasonal, okay? Hey, it might be like last week where we were like, this is going to be garbage in there. It smells sweet. I ain't going to get it again. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not the worst. I'm going to say. <laughs> well, it's really good. sweet. Yeah, it's not the worst. <laughs> yeah, no, it's when you see Bat Squatch. <laughs> Oh, there's even a graph on the back, dude. Like, you know those anime games? Get a, get a shot of this. <laughs> and they have, like, the, the perks. Oh. Yeah. See? Bitter, pine, yeah. pine citrus. Citrus, Tropical. pine, bitter. It's pretty fruity. It's not well-rounded. <laughs> there's not even halt on there, dude. No. It's not bad. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Like I said, when I grabbed the can, I was like, this is going to be one of those ones where I just kind of choke it down. Right. I'm gonna have to give this one a six or seven. I'm gonna give it a six point seven. No, six point seven. <laughs> the alcohol percentage. No, I'll probably give it an eight, dude. It's actually going down pretty smooth, and it's not like super ice cold like it normally would be. Cause I think the last two weeks has been your highest like ratings ever. I mean, maybe it's just taste more, tastes better now. I don't know. It's like I like them now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm all <laughs> I'm used to the bitterness. It doesn't like twinge my jaw. It's like it's good now. It only took like. 30 or 40 of them, but hell yeah. <laughs> it's good now. <laughs> I is this IPA? Yeah, yeah it's an uh, Indian pillow. Okay. Hazy Indian pillow. Yeah, I'd definitely give it like an 8. It's really sweet, like I said. The hazy ones are always the best because they're always citrusy. Well, that and it's like not ice cold because it kind of like hit a warm patch the last two days and it was in my car. So. <laughs> 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 it was like a, you know, the car's your freezer in the winter. So but, it's re. Yeah. It's been heated up and cooled up again. It's been in the car for a week. Oh, well, then it didn't get that far. <laughs> it's been pretty fucking cold. I'm not saying I mean, we brought it in and put it in the fridge, but. Surprisingly, it has like warm taste, but it's like not like. <laughs> <laughs> like any other beer that's warm, so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Clean, clean. Bat Squatch, good luck probably finding it now, which kind of sucks. But they might still have it. Like I said, I don't, I don't think a lot of people thought like we did. And like, oh, it's probably not going to be good. But it's actually right. fucking delicious. Uh, yeah. Here with uh, Robert again. We're kind of revisiting that last episode on Sticks and Stones because it kind of took off. You guys, like, I feel like it's the fastest numbers, like, number wise. Yeah, it's it's definitely going well. Uh, we're pretty pleased with it. Um, I mean, I, I think the success of Fragile Minds really helps. Yeah. Because um, if you can get people to you know watch one of your YouTube videos and. You know, they don't they're hate it though. Yeah, Keep going. generally we'll check out something else. Especially I just get it on there and like get it in their algorithm too. Cause I'll like like listen to one song by a band and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, have you seen this and this? Like, oh fuck, <laughs> I've heard that shit in forever. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> or it's like, oh, they came out with something new and you know they're still fucking doing stuff. Like some forty one, whenever they came out with a new song, it's like, say what? I thought those guys like died. <laughs> <laughs> it's messed up, but that was my first. I was like, wow, they're still alive. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm like, what? I was actually scrolling through on, uh, I think it was like a storm today, on through the comments, and there was actually a comment that said, uh, uh, damn it. <laughs> nah, I lost it. <laughs> yeah, oh, full circle, we'll come back to it. Yeah, I'll get it. <laughs> that was funny, though, yeah, we, we kind of just mentioned it. But. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I think we told me that right when I got here. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> you too. Oh, it was something about the... Oh yeah, I was just scrolling and this popped up in my algorithm and it was like, not disappointed or something like that. <laughs> like, hell yeah. There's a bunch of likes on it and shit. But yeah, yeah dude, you guys, 
Yeah. It seems like you guys are definitely going up in the last few months. Yeah, I've been paying attention to with like signing year, and it actually. popped up on yeah. YouTube. And I looked it up like a month before, like more than a month before, I guess. But like, you guys popped up really, really quick on my YouTube and Google because I first I searched it on Google and then it was like YouTube and you guys' videos right there. So I'm like, oh, that's fucking always good to see when you're fucking like Google certified for sure, sure. Like, <laughs> like I said. Yeah. I mean, like I said, we're just we're really you know appreciative of the success because it's all fan related. Like, yeah. I mean, it's it, it's a different landscape that we're working in uh, as opposed to like you know thirty four years ago. Right. But uh, it's it's got its ups and downs, but it is cool because it's a lot more interactive. Um, we get to you know more interactive with social meet media. communicate with people. Yeah, social media and, like the the reach that we have thanks to things like Facebook and stuff like that is, you know, unbelievable. Like, we have a surprisingly, you know, large following in Brazil. Um, yeah. And we've actually, <laughs> thanks to Google Translate, which was probably awful, uh, but we've had a few conversations with random fans in Brazil and stuff like that that shoot us a message. And, like, you know, before the internet really took off, like, you you would never have had that opportunity. Yeah, uh, like, the, yeah, it's just, just like, 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 shit. You know, like yeah. I said, especially being on the, like, even message your guys' page. Like, we'd never be able to do that. It was like, you'd be like the one in a million fan at a shirt and show where you got backstage. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh my God, it's Ozzy, you know? Like, <laughs> you couldn't just be like, hit up his page and then like someone might hit you back up. But like, there's also a lot more artists than there, I guess there were. Yeah. Well, and that's the, that is the largest downside is it's a lot easier to get content out there. And so it does, you know, I don't want to say muddies the water, but it kind of does. Like, there's just, there's a lot to yeah, say. Yeah, it's Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, the music in general, like, all genres. Every genre, yeah. <laughs> it's getting aware there's so many. That's that, what the age of, what is it called, creation or whatever. It's like everyone wants to be creative. So. And it seems like a song is only popular for, like, a week, and then everybody's yeah, like, oh, that. I'm on to the next one now. I'm still listening to the stuff I was listening to in eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, I don't let it go. It's like, especially with, like, uh, like club music, like Little Yachty and stuff like that, and the stuff that, like, you'll hear in the bar. It's like the next week it'll be, like, something totally different. <laughs> What the fuck? Like when oh, that yeah, song that came out, I'm in love with this stripper like a long time ago. Like, Rap's one of the yeah, yeah, it goes really fucking ones. quick. Like no one listens to that song anymore. No one listens to Lollipop by Little Wayne anymore. <laughs> like no one listens to that. Like if you do, you're like, oh, then everyone like fucking leans back and like, oh, the old good old days. <laughs> <laughs> it was like less than a decade ago. Like, <laughs> so you guys actually had a pretty good show at the Third Wheel recently. Oh, that was you. awesome stoked about that one being that I've, they closed down for a bit and then opened back up. Yeah, I don't even know if they were still going to do concerts there or not. Yeah, I mean, we weren't sure either because um, Mike Castle used to run it, basically yeah. run the shows. He did all the promoting and the sound, like kind of did everything. Um, and so when he, you know, stepped down and, um, you know, moved on to other things, we weren't sure, like, if there was going to be somebody else who going to pick up the torch and uh, Martin, Father Metal, um, has been, you know, working his, working his ass off to try and get some shows going and stuff, and so, um, we were, we were happy to be a part of that, because, I mean, Third Wheel's been, you know, home for us, right. um, and so, yeah, there was, there was a few complications and a few, uh, <laughs> hurdles to get over, um, but I, I think it was definitely a, a learning, you know, scenario so that like yeah. next couple of shows like i think hopefully it'll go a little smoother for yeah we'll get the <laughs> sound set better up, or set better yeah yeah so i mean it, i think it'll go well and then like we were talking about before we started uh scott tore his acl <laughs> that was crazy. like uh, oh, literally God. last note of the first song scott tore his acl and i don't then, know where it fell dude it was crazy yeah like i don't know it was it was kind of scary at first because I, I didn't see him go down, and so, like, I, you know, we finished the song, I turn around, and he's, you know, laying on the ground, and Mitch and I both had the same thought, like, shit, did he pass out? Like, like <laughs> how's this part of like, the show? Like, <laughs> what are we doing? Are you doing a new thing? <laughs> You're all just lays there. And so, yeah, George had, like, run over there to, like, try and get his guitar off and, like, figure out what was going on, and I guess he's, like, ripped off his guitar, yeah. and he was, like, give me a fucking chair, we're finishing this. Like, did, okay, did, you're in charge. Yeah. <laughs> that was fucking awesome, bro. <laughs> so Scott posted up in a chair and we played the show and then promptly took him to the emergency room. <laughs> <laughs> He's all, now that we're done, let's go. <laughs> Someone grab my shit. kicked ass. Yeah. Probably yeah. a major pain. ACL yeah. pain is moving. Yeah. Especially if you're like a guy like taps your leg to say I'm eating or something. He's like, <laughs> 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 other leg. <laughs> 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 
No, nah, but it was pretty cool because there was it was definitely like a community effort. People were you know understanding of the fact that you know he was temporarily well, injured. Yeah. Most and, like, people would have been like, people, "Sorry, like we gotta go." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we had like people just popping up out of nowhere with like ace bandages, yeah. and ice packs, and like <laughs> you just had this on. Just yeah, like, yeah, just in case. Who needed <laughs> some stuff? For us, so yeah, hurt myself a lot. You know, full med kit. <laughs> so. They wrapped it up really fast. Yeah, I think it was my buddy Nate actually was the one that brought the wrap up and started wrapping this league. So, yeah. so uh, you so, guys planning on a good tour at all? You know, we're we're working on that right now. Um, we're you know working on some stuff with our manager Paul Crosby Sol- Saliva. Um, he's we're we're in the game now of like you know as opportunities come up to like we're trying to see where they can fit in and stuff. So right. hopefully sooner than later we'll have. You know, at least a, a vague idea of what our spring, summer, fall looks like. Um, you know, we're looking at festivals and all that kind of stuff and trying to figure out where we can get in. Get in where we can fit in, you know? Nice. That'd be badass. Well, you're dumb joke. So <laughs> sticks and stones and breaks bones, right? Let's get <laughs> tear your fucking ACL on stage. <laughs> 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 That's what you love. But uh, actually, we have a clip of Sticks and Stones. If people haven't seen it from the last episode or haven't just went and watched the video, we should check it out before we get too late in the old video. (laughs) And uh, don't tear your LCL while you're watching it. Sticks and stones make shards of bone, but words cut through the surface. That's nothing compared to the acts of despair that we see go without purpose. Cut their limbs, they'll crawl with grins to find out if it's worth it. Mother, help us please, just a gentle breeze, we really don't deserve it. Suds and Budzers, here to talk about the cap gun. Where can you get this cap gun? Amazon, for only under 10 bucks. If you have Prime, maybe a little bit more with the shipping. Cap gun, get yourself one. They bust a cat. <laughs> cap gun, get yourself one. Anyway, <laughs> you guys haven't Great seen the whole song. video, check it out. The video is also really good. Easy to watch, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. like, I don't know, some videos just don't make sense when they're like super like, I don't know, abstract, I guess. <laughs> like, like metaphor on metaphor on metaphor. It's just like, you know, they have the, <laughs> like the weird graphics and it's like a weird setting. They're all, you know, like Woodstock. <laughs> what is going on here, dude? So, like, like, like a movie to this so, like, yeah. story of a song. <laughs> it's easy to just watch something like a, yeah, like a decent camera. And fucking, you know, so just standing somewhere and use it. Like I said, someone was asking me about a music video. I was like, look, it's like, cause I've seen a lot of people do it. Like, just, Put a camera in a car and then like just drive, and you just have it hanging out the window, and then you pull it out, and then you find the spot that you like driving at, and you add the music to it, and it's like just something to watch. Like I'll watch out a window. I do it all the time, fucking all the time. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Especially when I'm listening to music. <laughs> like all oh, this fucking space case in it. But it's so I'm not sure if I asked you this last time. Uh, where you guys film that at? Did, uh, was that local? Like, yeah. So, we filmed it at Moscow High School, actually. Okay. Um, Because it was one of those, like, trying to line up schedules, and we were working on a really short time frame. And uh, so we had reached out to a few different people and hadn't heard back from a couple people and gotten no's from a few people. And then, just by luck, we got a response from... uh, somebody that Scott's wife had reached out to because she teaches in the school district 
and uh, basically they put her in contact with the custodian who's kind of the building manager and supervisor and stuff. And, you know, they talked it out, and more or less it just came down to uh, don't break anything, don't let anything on fire. <laughs> you know, I, okay. And there goes our pyrotechnic. And so, <laughs> <laughs> and so it, it, and it ended up being perfect. It was it was a great venue, and it turned out awesome. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a high-quality video. Yeah. I think <laughs> Like a Storm, that one, like all of them really have been high-quality, honestly. Yeah. But you could tell there was more, Clean. definitely more time put into this one, and like a storm in the last few years have been. You know what I'm saying? I would have never guessed that was a Moscow. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not safe. I, I mean, I've never seen a high school, but <laughs> yeah, I would have never guessed. I was like, right up the road. Well, I mean, people <laughs> that go to school there are like, oh, that's my school. <laughs> yeah, that's that where I sat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a long day. Uh, I'm trying to think. I want to say that was actually the day of my castle's last show. Because mm-hmm. I know we filmed the video and like knocked it all out and one day, it down here. and then yeah, came down and loaded on and played a show that night. Nice. Nice. Fuck. I know. I think <laughs> I missed that one. That, was, that sucked, dude. Because I was actually waiting to go to that show and I didn't get to go. That's it. But yeah, no. We'll get I went to the last one. So, hey. <laughs> I don't like those people that do those midday Wednesday shows for me. <laughs> Thank you. Ever have a Thank you. <laughs> Not all of us get the weekend off. <laughs> ever. Well, I literally haven't had a Saturday off in eight years. Man. <laughs> I feel, man, I've worked in food service pretty much my entire adult life. <laughs> and I just moved the whole week around. Like, today's my Friday. It's Tuesday, but it's my Friday. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to party like it's my Friday. <laughs> Nights and weekends, man. Sucks. <laughs> Fucking chugs of beer in there, sweet. This is my Friday. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But yeah, uh, so we went and seen one show down there at the Third Wheel. It was like those guys from New York. I don't know what they name, but they had the mask, like Slipknot. Oh, uh, And then we went and seen, I think it was like, is it Sin Circus, the chick with the chick? And they were like all dressed up like clowns and stuff. Oh, yeah, that was cool too. Not Sin Circus, that's. Uh Oh, it's like Sin Circus, but it's not Sin yeah, Circus. Sin Circus. It was something Circus. Thing. I can't remember what it was, but that was a really good show. And that was on a Wednesday, and it was, they killed it. Like, <laughs> so there wasn't a whole lot of people in there, because it was a Wednesday, but it was like, yeah, it's like they still put on like a really good show. Have so you, like, you seen Silent Theory, though? The, the, mm-mm. I live. I rock it on over, right? No, I think I hadn't moved back by then, unless it was like the last two years. Yeah. I, I don't remember. What year did you guys play rock on over? Oh, uh, yeah, it was, it was a couple of years ago. It was the main card, because that's, or like the main. Uh, it was. Because that will tell you if I've been there or not. I know I Everclear. Ch- I was like, right. all I can think of was Art Alex, I guess. The second time Everclear <laughs> came? Or the first time? Second. I was going to say the first time was Hello, I think. Yeah, so I missed that one. I seen Everclear when it came the first time. Yeah, that was a good show. That was the year I was still in Arizona. <laughs> and I think Joan Jett came too or some shit the next year. Yeah, Scott Weiland was there. We've had some pretty good shows. There. Yeah, they actually do a, a really good job booking Rockin' on the River. I mean, like I said, they're older bands, but it's like always like the bands that have like, like booking those out, uh, Collective Souls. Like, who the fuck? The Blues <laughs> Travelers. Yeah, the good. Blues Travelers. Was, that was awesome. Yeah, and it was, he was terrible, yeah. but he kind of freaked me out since he lost all that weight. He's <laughs> like, he does not have the frame to, for a skinny man. Like, Jared from Subway without all the pedophilia charges. Like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> 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 that guy can play the shit out of her Monica though it's crazy I like his his approach to it though like he wears like a military vest and like yeah. just has harmonica for every <laughs> key yeah. just like whips it out on a string <laughs> I fucking there's well, a snake a in my boot fucking <laughs> pull string <laughs> you need a C or a G that's really the most yeah, so they've had yeah. some really good shows there they've been mm-hmm. trap pop evil pantric yeah. I mean they're kind of older but you're older, it's fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> like, I went to see Blink-182, and then, like, it's, uh, they had a different guitarist, so it was, they didn't have Tom DeLonge anymore, but it was still fucking sweet to go, you know, see Ah, uh, I can't think of his name, but he's from Alkaline Trio. Yeah. And, and then, I mean, I, I love Tom DeLonge and Blink-182, like, I grew up on those guys, but from what I understand, like, this other guy is a much, much better guitar player. Yeah, no, he's, they've done the two that they, yeah. they're fucking last album, that's what I went to see, and it was, uh, I can't remember. I think it's Bored to Death might have been the name of the album, but that was one of the main songs. But that's the one I went on. And they fucking killed it. Like, and they still play their old songs. They didn't play, like, stuff that Tom DeLonge would normally sing, like, First Date and stuff like that. But, like, the ones where they had, like, split parts, they still sing. So that was fucking cool. Like, 
And then you went seeing Three Days Grace as a new lead singer, but still, that's fucking cool as fuck. Right. right. And I was just, <laughs> like, and then they came out that Painkiller song, right, when the new lead singer, and that show, that song's a shit, dude. There were a couple of new songs that were bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's weird. Well, it's so weird, and I feel like people get switched out. Sometimes it's really good. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Depends, I guess, you know. <laughs> awesome. So do you guys have any, like, do you know anybody that you guys are looking to tour with at all, or do you just... Yeah, that'd be sick. Pretty much waiting to get set up online. Um, yeah, I nobody for sure that uh, that we've really locked in yet. Um, but yeah, it's pretty decent. Like, typically a little bit older bands are the ones that we're kind of getting get pitched right that. now. Yeah. But like bands that still have draw, like our last run we did with Head PE. Nice. Um, like Fuck those yeah. were all great shows. They I've all, seen like, him twice. He's awesome too. Yeah, I mean, we played a couple of shows on, like, you know, Wednesdays and stuff, and they were all, you know, okay. packed out shows and stuff. Nice. <laughs> Wednesday was. Well, <laughs> well that most, yeah. yeah I think if I did open, I'd go to a lot of them, but it's like, I'd be there at four in the morning, so it's like, I won't be out of there until, like, one or two in the morning to go to a bar, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I don't want to be drinking, because it's like, who the fuck doesn't drink in a bar in a fucking concert? Right. You know, get up two hours all. Dude, it really does. <laughs> it really does. I got this. It really does matter about the venues, too, because, like, I've seen them had PA over at uh, Third Wheel and it was huge like it, it was I think it got sold out or close to it and then I seen them again at the Boomers or Boomtown and it was just there was nobody there it was poorly promoted and he got pissed and walked off stage it was crazy <laughs> I felt bad for him dude I wasn't even mad I was like I understand this like just by looking at what happened and seeing hearing everybody talk and him talk and yeah it was just a mess <laughs> but he still kills it on Fucking, oh, what yeah. was it, Weezer? What's that, like, super tour going on right now? It's like Weezer and fucking a bunch of older bands. Uh, it's, uh, uh, Weezer, Green Day, and... Yeah, there's another one. It's like three powerhouses. But that'd be cool if you guys get on there even as an opener. So that'd be fucking sweet. I'm trying to think of it. I want to say it's, like, Pixies or something. Or, I no, I guess Weezer is just uh, too the Pixies. Uh, that one fucking band. Fucking Overdrive or something like that. Mm-hmm. It's not Overdrive. Undercard? No, not Undercard. No, <laughs> Fuck, dude, that, that's what it's gonna be on. Something under, I know that. I feel like I should know this. I have tickets to that show. Under oath, is it? No, you're going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, like, you know. going oh yeah, it's Weezer and fucking Green Day, and then there's someone else that was like really big. It'd be cool to get on a tour like that. The other older bands. I mean, Green Day's still pumping out shit, really. Right. Yeah, but the other two, I think, probably have pumped out shit. And I just haven't heard it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Green Day would be awesome to see, yeah. and Weezer shit. Need to like have a separate YouTube because I can. This is my the main new ones is my fucking podcast channel, so like I just get a lot of talk stuff like talk radio, <laughs> podcasts, fucking. I need to go one and start one that's just music because I don't have any music shows on my home ever. I can never. Like, I had to go to the music section. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm <laughs> and so I always feel like, like I'm like mainstreaming it. I'm like, oh, I can't like these. So they're too mainstream. <laughs> 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 I like underground shit. Yeah, that's me, dude. Fucking, I want to like them before they're big, so I can be like, I like them before everyone else, dude. You know I, mean? I need that right. I ain't no bandwagon. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, though. <laughs> I, I like, yeah, discovering bands. It's always fucking sweet. Right. Like I said, I haven't done it in a while. It's usually this guy shows me, and then I look back, and I'm like, oh, shit, these are good. <laughs> I know I'm the exact opposite. I got, like, three podcasts, and the rest are... All music. music. Lots of it. It's a good mix for hosts, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm really liking that. Highly Suspects, album was crazy. That was really good. Yeah, I like those guys. Suspects. They put on a hell of a show, too. I want to see that fucking, those Bad Flower guys fucking. Oh, yeah, they're too. Yeah. For a second, yeah, I, I thought they were. I came to a couple months ago, and I really want to go, but the schedules didn't line up. Dang. That would Yeah, at first, I thought they were fucking, uh, what did you just say, fucking. Highly Suspect? Yeah, I thought it was Highly Suspect when I heard it on the radio. Could not find the fucking song, dude. <laughs> and I was like, who the fuck is this? Like, I had to fucking find it, like, Shazam. I had to, like, download Shazam. <laughs> like, who the fuck? And, like, wait for it to come on the radio on Z-Rock all. <laughs> Just like it. the old days. Yeah, dude. Fuck, I could not figure radio. it out. Just waiting. And we tried typing in lyrics and everything, you know? You, like, type in, like, half a song. It's like, oh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, how do you not know, dude? I'm fucking... Worthless. <laughs> yeah, like, technology is garbage. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Kind of though, fuck. I feel sometimes when I had to like sit back and remember it's like before we had internet. I'm like, okay, maybe I shouldn't flip out this fast because my video took 30 seconds to load. Right, it used to take an hour. Fuck, it used to take like damn longer than that. Fuck, we had like shitty internet. <laughs> like, I was like, fucking DSL. Like the download Pac Man on our computer took like three hours. 
<laughs> Shitty internet. I didn't even know what the fuck YouTube was until I moved up here. I learned the music from the radio and when people were like, oh, have you heard this on my CD? Like, they burnt my CD. Never even fucking heard of YouTube before. I never had a smartphone until I was like 19 either, so. Or like, my dad would not let me touch the computer, so. <laughs> 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 Between the two older brothers and my dad, I never fucking seen it. <laughs> I played the pinball on there that was offline. <laughs> that was about it. Like, I remember that. I get up here like, yeah, just knowing like a handful of bands. This guy showed me a lot. Same with our buddy Cody. It's always nice finding new music. Yeah. So do you guys plan on, are you guys working on a new album or a new EP or single? Uh, we are. And I really, like, I wish I had a timeline because originally we were hoping to have it, like, out sometime this fall but uh, that has not happened <laughs> uh so we're <clears throat> we're kind of grinding away on it getting some new songs written and then you know as time allots and when we can get schedules lined up dakota's flying up and we'll knock it out because right. i mean we can go in the studio and like knock out a bunch of music stuff and then yeah, we'll just kind of sing over it <laughs> yeah sing us sing a little hard out <laughs> <laughs> but so yeah. I bet that's going to be kind of rough with the tour and like getting it all figured out with the families and everything. A little bit, yeah. I mean, thankfully we uh, we have a bunch of understanding wives and girlfriends and things like that. So, you know, oh, yeah, you guys are supportive. at least thus far everybody is on board and stuff like that. So. <laughs> she said she was cool with it, but then she called me two days later. <laughs> <laughs> thankfully we haven't had that yet. But. Thank God. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I, I know uh, touring has definitely gotten a lot harder for, for Mitch. Scott hasn't experienced it as a dad yet, but um, I, I know those guys are, you know, the longer trips and stuff like that are yeah, a little bit harder for them. Especially uh, like when people want you to party with them. You're like, dude, I want to call my kid tonight and tell him tonight, and I don't want to be blackout when I do that. So I'm like, just give me a minute. <laughs> you know what's crazy is like, we are probably the most boring rock band. <laughs> and I was like, like, you want a beer? You're like, I got shit to do. It, it's, <laughs> well, sometimes you feel bad about it. Because, uh, like, you know, the stereotype is that you can go out and party mm, and stuff like drink that. black tar heroin from a fire hose. <laughs> Nick, 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 <laughs> well, I mean, we've definitely had our, our heyday. Like, Mitch and I have gotten ourselves into quite a bit of trouble over the years. Um, but, yeah, I mean, none of us really drink much anymore. I mean, George still drinks quite a bit. He makes beer and smokes cigars and like nah, he's still living like life. Drink Wrong way. Like back uh. in the day, <laughs> but like, we used to drink a lot more than we drink now. Now it's like we old man sip. Jaded. It's like, uh, it's like Dunn did this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we felt really bad when we were doing our head PE run. Um, every time, you know, a couple of the guys, uh, specifically their drummer Jeremiah, every time he'd be like, "Hey, let's let's grab some drinks and we'll party or whatever." We'd be like, "Hey Dakota, go have some drinks with him." And so we just kept throwing Dakota to the wolves. And so, like, <laughs> the last day or two, like, he was just hampered. <laughs> We're not. No, I just, I just want to sleep. <laughs> We're in, like, racing or something like that up in Wisconsin. And he's just like, guys, uh, <laughs> like, I, just, I, don't know, I don't know if I can keep doing this. <laughs> like, you just kept coffee and some bread. Like, You're doing great, bud. Hang in there. <laughs> Get back in there, champ. <laughs> you got this, champ. <laughs> champ, I, uh, you call him champ. Batting his head up. He's like, I am the champ. You're right, dude. <laughs> I handle a couple more rum and cokes. Yeah, it's probably you have to be there, but like we still laugh so hard because it, that night we stopped at a, a gas station just to fuel up, and he his phone had died. And he's like, oh, I, I really need a phone cord because um, he's in the middle of a conversation, and so he <laughs> goes into the gas station and pays you know like the twelve dollars or whatever for, for it. The, the phone cord comes back out and he's like, hey, can you plug it in for me? He goes, and it was like this long. <laughs> he's sitting in the back seat. And goes, oh, man. We gotta get laughing No, I, I love you too. No, I love you. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Well, that was one of those. I had a, a battery pack and I was like, you know what? I think you need this more than I do. Just charge the battery pack when you're done, please. <laughs> that fuck, dude. $12, that's all. <laughs> I guess it works, but not if you need to use it. I just put it on speakerphone. I love you, babes. All I love you. Huh? I'm in front of my friends and band members, dude. <laughs> I love you too. What, what'd you say? Nothing. I said fuck you. All right. Like, <laughs> gotta go. Sorry, babe. Love you. <laughs> now you said that, and I was like, babe. <laughs> yeah. It's, oh, really it's always the that? worst, dude. Get, well, my phone, like, my phone doesn't have a fucking. I don't know what happened to it, but like, I can only use speakerphone on my phone. 
I'm just like waiting for my contract to end because I don't want to go spend like two hundred dollars buying a contract. It's like over in three months. I'm like I can make it. So, but every time I get a call to be on the speakerphone, I'm like, oh god. Like, so you're that guy in public. Oh, hello. Hey, everybody. <laughs> yes. We're doing this. <laughs> yeah. He's like, hello. Hope you guys are ready. What are you doing? <laughs> I never had steak dick like this. <laughs> my dick itches, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just like the worst thing possible. Like. Yeah, no, it's like, well, I have to, like, fucking call people. Yeah, it's always, like, if you don't want to be that guy, it's like people that, like, don't have headphones they like, listen to the music. It's like, it's... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if it's a good song, it's cool, but it's like, if it's not a good song, <laughs> that's why they make headphones. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand it, because I feel like I see a lot of people just having phone conversations, like, on speakerphone. Like, I don't give a the classic. about what's going on in your life. I don't want to be a part of this. <laughs> but what also gets me is you see people in the store, like, FaceTiming with their friends and stuff. It's like, yeah, a lot of people do that shows. I don't like talking too. to people on the phone, let alone staring at somebody's face while they're grocery shopping. <laughs> like, people do that on Snapchat and shit. They'll sit there and, like, Snapchat a whole concert to their friends. And it's like, why don't you just enjoy the concert, dude? Like, yeah. your friend can pay the $25 to come watch yeah. a fucking show, dude. Like, like, he, like, yeah, I live stream shows, but. Uh-huh. Yeah, but, like, not constantly. Like, he'll do a couple songs and put your phone down. But also, you do, like, a music promotion. <laughs> like, so it's a yeah. little understandable. <laughs> but, like, when you're like, yeah, the people, like, come to these friends all the time, they'll send like, fucking stuff for their to concert. It's like, just enjoy the concert, dude. Like, fucking go get a beer. Like, I, met a, relax, dude. I met a guy at a bar from L.A., and he was, like, not kidding you. Every five minutes, picking up his phone, doing Snapchat videos. Like, yeah, I say, it's just Random shit. Concert, I'm like, dude. all right, dude, that's... He's ridiculous. Like, it's cool to share with your friends and, like, say that you're like, to talk to you. He's like, what's up, dude? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, <laughs> hey, yeah, whoa, yeah. It's crazy. It takes, I don't like, know yeah. if I'm just too old or what, but I never got into the Snapchat thing. Me yeah. either. Like, it just seems like a big cheer fucking thing like, for me. It's like, this is how you get nudes without getting caught. Like, that's, <laughs> this is what this map was made for, dude. <laughs> like, why would it disappear if that wasn't what it was made for? <laughs> this is for cheaters, dude. Yeah. <laughs> cheaters and kids whose parents don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people uh, use it to buy and sell drugs for yeah. that same reason. Yeah, it like, just disappears. So you can't find it. Yeah. So, like cheating, drugs. Yeah, anything that you need to like not be written down <laughs> for an extended period of time. But oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've never gotten into it. Like I barely got into fucking Facebook. <laughs> I know, I was like one of the last ones on board. Yeah, like 2015. I didn't, yeah, I didn't start Facebook until like my cousin like forced me to. I was like, okay. He's like, yeah, I'm like, still on MySpace, like adding songs to my playlist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and he's Tom's all, still one one <laughs> Yeah, he's always my top friend, dude. I'm top eight. <laughs> <laughs> he's always been there for me, you know? And <laughs> that's always touched me right here. This guy wants to bring back face, MySpace. Or, MySpace. Well, fucking think about it. Dude. How much cooler was MySpace? They tried to relaunch it at one point because uh, MTV or somebody like that bought it and like revamped the whole thing, made it fancy looking, and tried to relaunch it, but you know, it's like Instagram. clearly it didn't go anywhere. No, like on that, you can like add like any background you wanted. You can change all the stuff. Add a playlist on the front. Rate your friends so they know where they stand. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You like, can I get a stick of gun? They're like, no. You like, go home that day. You're all Just fucking. Like, you went from number one to number three. You son of a bitch. Just <laughs> like, the rankings. <laughs> Just no beating around the bush on that one. Made, you, made your friends try harder. You know. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> he took me out of his top eight. Just oh, walked by him man. and goes to me. Who are you? <laughs> Not top eight. So, but yeah, no, dude. You're like the ninth person I want to talk to. No, dude, my special is a shit, dude. I use that shit forever. And then, like, people would, like, do the fucking zeros and ones and make, like, a rose or a naked chick or some shit. It's like, you have way too much time on your hands, but right. still cool. <laughs> and then my fucking Facebook is like, here's your plain white bag, <coughs> blue top. And here's some notifications, chump. <laughs> Any cool picture you want, you'll post your fucking self. Oh. Post it. Yeah. <laughs> Same with, like, Instagram and Twitter. I started those. I hardly am ever on them. It's, 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 I don't post pictures, though. I'm like, yeah, it's garbage. <laughs> I'm the same way. Like, actually, just as a band, we're really terrible with social media. And, like, that's hard. That's, unfortunately, like, that's such a big part of the thing. But, like, I yeah. just, I don't feel like most of the stuff I do on a day-to-day is very interesting. Yeah, that's how I feel. It's like, I wouldn't want to see somebody else doing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all taking a shit. <laughs> Drank my first cup of coffee. And you know what that does. <laughs> Catch you guys in five. Like that pop star never f- stopped. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, like, that does help a lot. Just jacked it, feeling pretty comfortable. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like, he's like on Instagram under a blanket, like in his bed. Like, oh fuck. man. I mean, it does help. It helps a lot of people get like, fucking just vloggers alone get big. Like Logan Paul, and that motherfucker, just like vlogging. And fucking Jake Paul, it's like you guys do nothing but like shitty pranks on your friends, and just they're on the internet <laughs> all the time. Like, and then like you have a KSI fight, and that's like that was a fucking joke. First of all, like none of you guys are boxers. <laughs> and like, like tap, tap. I mean, it, I don't know if you watched any of the highlights. It was just trash. It was just like watching two like kids street fight that never been in a fight before. Like, and they even fought once before. It's like you guys had plenty of time to fucking like box, like to go get some fucking training under your belt. It looks like it was just god awful. And then Logan Paul's all like. I want to see if the USC will sign you. Like, I wish they would, dude. I'd love to see them <laughs> kick your fucking head in. Just... <laughs> like, like, just put him up against the biggest, hardest motherfucker his first fight. I'm like, fucking, here you go, dude. You get fucking Romero fucking. <laughs> Yell Romero, get in there. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. That was cool. Hopefully. Awesome having you guys back, though. Well, yeah, you sure. back. Yeah. Next <laughs> time, we'll hopefully have more of the band. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying, hopefully, you guys will have busy. your next album out by then. That'd be fucking sweet, too. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, another music video. Oh. <laughs> well, that's for sure. Fun. So, where can they find you other than YouTube? Uh, you know, pretty much anywhere you can find music online. Uh, or on Facebook, me, Instagram, uh, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, you can find links to all that stuff at our website, uh, silenttheory.com. Um, there's also a link there to our merch store if you sound, yeah, feel so inclined uh, we got CDs in there and then a bunch of cool shirts and shit like that oh yeah so yeah I mean Christmas is coming so start stocking up the silent theory um, hat yeah I better get a hat cause I ain't gonna fit in none of your clothes hint <laughs> hint oh I'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> no. you know where to find us Twitter Instagram which YouTube, aren't updated yeah, as often, but Facebook and YouTube are the main ones. If you guys want to help out the channel, Patreon, just under Suds and Buds. And uh, catch you guys next Tuesday. We'll have a little more appropriate holiday beer for you, huh? <laughs> Bats Watch! Give us money! <laughs> you can all find us on MySpace. Yeah, I'm starting one. I actually started one today, guys. For